Ladies and gents, we are back on the KSA stand, as you can clearly see. Now we are going to talk harvesters. We've got uh, Mr. Niels Peterson, who is a rare combination of, well, he's Danish born, Australian upbringing. And back to Germany. And he's back to Germany <laughs> to talk about combines with a fella from Lancashire. So yes. this is going to be a bit of a this crack. Is really this good. is going to be a yes, crack this. Really this. Yep. So, combines, obviously, you've got. The 160 series now. Yes. You got your 260 series now, yes. which is the larger, bigger, bigger brother to that. Yep. And they both got some updates and things. So, yes. hit me with some updates. Where to start? Well, I'd like to start somewhere else, really. To really right, come on, hit me with it. Because we've seen the light. We've, we've seen, seen the light, light. Is it? Can, in this, can you see this, this blue light? Right. It's really strange. So let's stand underneath. It will give us some energy. Oh. Energy for axle flow combines. That's what it is. The best in the world. So we got the silver medal for this lovely innovation here. So what this does, it's a radar. So it's looking down here, really, right. not up there. So it looks at the crop in front of the header. Yeah, so you can see that in, yes. a, in a fan shape. Yeah. Yes, so it looks at the crop. How dense is it, for right. example? Or is it lodged or laying yeah, down? Yeah. Or is it standing up? And it can tell the difference. Yes, it can tell the difference. Right. So that's why it's a silver metal thing. And this radar system communicates with the actual flow combine here and tells the combine maybe it's a good idea to slow down because the <laughs> crop is very dense here, so slow down so you don't plug the rows or all the And will it automatically do that? Yes, it will. So it'll back the combine off itself? No, I won't back it off, but it'll just slow it down. So if you're yeah. racing along with yeah. uh, 10 k's an hour or something, and maybe there's a big dense crop yeah, here, yeah. then you need to go down to 5 k's maybe. Right, and it so, will do all that automatically? Yes, it right. will. So, so this is building on your feed rate control that you, you, you yes. have, still have. Exactly. And this is another level. Yes, you're absolutely right because that's why I went this way. Yeah. Because the 160 series, if we go back to the axle flow now, has now got Harvest Command. And right. Harvest Command is the intelligent stuff that we have on the axle flow combines. The artificial intelligence, right. we could say maybe. <laughs> So that, that's one level, so we can do that on the series called 160. Yeah. And now we can combine it with this header automation and we can get a much more clever combine right. which can have much more capacity so and less stops. So rather, than, rather than be reactive, it's proactive now. Yes, that's how we want it's to be. It's thinking for itself yes, a little bit we, more. Yep, we're not always good at that. <laughs> um, the last thing I want to say about this system here is yep. that it also can measure the height of the header because today usually, we can't see it here, but we have these things underneath That's the header. That's skids, yeah. Yeah, hockey sticks now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we can use the radar system to measure the height so we don't need it. Right. Yeah, so it's so free. Yeah. So we take out a little bit of wearing parts as well. And well, you go. got me there, didn't you? So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so maybe it's a bit of a long speech about that, but if we just look at the 160 series behind us here, yeah. yes, it's, it's, it was called 150 series previously, and now it's called the 160 because we've stuffed in the artificial intelligence yeah. now, so it can, has all the sensors, it has the grain camera, which can look at the quality in the grain tank. The grain tanks become a bit bigger, so we've got a bit more room for all the higher quality grain which an axle flow makes. So uh, that's how it is, you know, there's no cracked grain, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should move on, you can. Yeah. Um... Well, Simon, if you can keep up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So where are we heading to next? Yeah, well, I'd like to show you the 260 series. Maybe we can start up on this side. Yeah. Um, so the 250 series has been replaced by the 260 series. Right, I bet so, they were up all night thinking of that one, weren't Yeah, they? what's that all about? <laughs> so there's three three models in the 260 series, a 72, 82, and a 9260. And the biggest one, which is here now, has 634 horsepower on the engine. Yep. Um, but the 260 series, um, the, the real main update on it is it has these new screens, which we might be able to see from here, otherwise we need to go into the cab. Right. No worries. So it's like having two TV screens now. Uh, one TV screen for watching all the lovely movies when you don't know what to do. Right. And the other screen for, you know, checking the combines, uh, how it's set up and the harvest command. I'm oh, sorry, I was lying a bit about those movies, but the, the, <laughs> the other screen, which you can't see really, in the roof lining is for maybe the navigation system. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah and or yield mapping or something like yeah, that, exactly, potentially. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, and the other one, of course, for the crop settings and yeah. road to speed and all that yeah. stuff. So, so that's probably the main thing on the 260 series. Um, also, a lovely new seat in there for the operator with a bit of massage and your oh, mum I like and so a bit on. of that. Yep. So uh, there's always a lot of focus on the, on, you know, on the pilot or the driver, whatever you want to call him. But he has a lovely feeling of being in the, in the yeah, combine. Yeah. So keep him so, up. Yeah. Exactly. So, so that is the main news on that one, really. 
Um, still the same grain tank capacity of 14,500 yep. litres. Um, other, cool. Yeah. And just yeah, just moving forward, I mean, it's you know, it's obviously it's been in the press and whatnot. But just tell us about your relationship now with McDon, because we're seeing a lot more McDon headers on the KSIH combines. Yeah, this specific header is uh, their latest version called FD2. Yeah. Um, and the FD2 has a much uh, deeper belt, so the, so the, the or the drape, whatever you want to call it. So there's much room, more room for crop behind the reel. Especially these bushy crops. It could be like canola yeah. and uh, the high yields we have in the UK and the, in the northern part of Europe in That's general. It, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's very good for that. And uh, I, I've, I really love the McDonald's system where we have this flex system where it's three parts of the header, mm, which you is You can flexing. see it when you look down here. Yeah, maybe it's squeezing it's here, good. Simon. When you look down there, you can actually see it's uh, fairly undulates, yeah. moves around a bit. Yeah, so, so it's not a full flex header, you'd say, um, but, but this is this particular header here is really perfect for yeah. our Is it what you call a hinge draper on yeah, this? Yeah, I'd say yeah. that, yeah, because it's got these two hinges on yeah. each side of, of the infeed belt. Yeah. So it, so it can follow the ground. And, and this specific one, the 45 foot, has a three split uh, reel on it as well. So the reel follows the, uh, Much the belt. Better. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Because that's it, because on, you know, you see other manufacturers, they've got flexible drapers, you know, like true flex all the way across. Yeah, the whole night. But then the reel is fixed. Yes. So you get a lot of difference between reel and belt underneath it. Yeah. The table, yeah. you might say. So it's this effectively tries to keep that a little bit more consistent across the width. And that's good. Judging by it, looking at this. Yeah. I well, might be wrong. No, no, you're absolutely right. That's why I, I like that McDonald has gone away or not, not going that way because yeah. it's mainly for soybeans and so on. It's very good for that stuff. But for our normal crops yeah. in the northern part of Europe, it's, if you ask me at least, very good to have this system yeah. because it follows the ground much better and keeps a real close to the knife barn, cleans, yeah. cleans the knife barn. That's what you want. Because yeah. didn't you guys used to have like a full flex header back well, in the day? Yeah, well from, from case on side, yes, we had two yeah. types. We had we had the full flex, but for us, we usually didn't have them in the northern part of Europe. We But we had one with a fixed cutter bar, right. um, which was okay really, but when you get out to 45 foot, you know, it's, oh, yeah. it's a long way to go. Uh, so it so is. this is the way to go, I need to say. Right, yes. and beyond you know, McDon accommodating your colour scheme, does the relationship <laughs> go any further at all in terms of making the headers more compatible for the KSIH combines? Yeah, you can say that's a very good question. Thank you for asking that. Um, because for manufacturing year 24, we'll have a fully integrated system where we have all the information from the McDon header in our screen. Because today we have to use a pedal, for example, uh, in the cab floor to use these wheels, which you can't see, I'm sorry, but these these contour max wheels, which measure the height right, of the cutting okay. height. There, now we can do it in our integrated system from yeah. now on for 24 models. Of course, right. if you have a 23 on stock, no, you can't do it. But so everything is integrated to our screen now. So very good question. Thank you. No yes. worries. Well, to be fair, that's all the questions I've got now. Okay. Uh, unless you've got anything else you want to point out on the 260 at all? Oh, uh, no, I think we're there. I think maybe people are tired of listening to all this uh, rubbish. <laughs> no, but just go for it. It's the best in the world, of course. So. <laughs> if you say so, <laughs> yeah. Niels, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you Love very it. much. A bit of crack by. as well. We needed that at Agritechnica. <laughs> it can get a bit uh, Germanic. Yeah. Um, so, yes, thank you very much for your time. Hopefully we'll catch you again I some hope other time around. as well. Yeah. Perfect. Look after yourselves.